This fire uh, that started about 2.30, about a mile up the Roaring Lion Trailhead, which is where the initial uh, call came in. And, man, by the time our fire crews got to the scene, uh, and they were there very quickly along with the helicopter, the fire had already raced down the face of that uh, mountain and was headed towards private property. Very quickly, I've talked to homeowners today that said, just in a matter of, of minutes after the call came in, that they could smell smoke and see flames and uh you know just a uh, short time after that it got into that heavy timber and started to get in the crowns and uh quickly uh we had 200 foot uh flame lengths coming off those trees and so uh yeah i mean this thing really uh blew up and it was i've never seen anything like it in the years that i've been here the uh you know the amount of time that that fire raced down that hill and uh our priority has been uh, all day uh, public and firefighter safety and the sheriff's office have done an outstanding job going home to home, uh, getting folks out quickly. There's a lot of people that have horses and different livestock up here, and so that's been a challenge. But the good news to report tonight is uh, right now uh, there's no, no injuries. Uh, nobody's been uh, hurt as a result of this fire that uh, just really took off this afternoon. Todd, has uh, have any homes been lost yet? You know, according to the sheriff's office, and they've been uh, up there working with the homeowners, there there have been uh, multiple structures uh, involved. I don't know how many. Uh, I don't know, again, where those structures are involved, but there have been um, multiple structures involved uh, in the fire today. Uh, we'll get more estimates. Again, right now our goal is to fight this thing. We've got five helicopters in the air doing bucket drops. We've had heavy air tankers uh, all day doing uh, retardant work. We've got three hotshot crews on the ground. We've got engines from every uh, fire department uh, in the valley here. Uh, these crews uh, are in uh, obviously dangerous uh, terrain and territory, especially working around homes. Where I am, we've been hearing propane tanks explode throughout the afternoon. Uh, so they're working in some really uh, dangerous conditions. They're going to work through the evening. Nobody's going home uh, and try to put out fires, especially around uh, those structures as it continues to burn burn down closer to homes. Todd, what is the estimate size of the fire right now? Yeah, we're saying it's 2,000 acres. That's It's so smoky. Uh, that's the best estimate that we can give folks uh, right now. We've got dozers on the ground. Every available resource on the forest Virtually every available resource in this valley uh, has been activated. We have a Type 1 incident management team on the way. They will be here tomorrow ready to go to work. Uh, and so uh, we're doing everything we can, but this has been a really rough day. You know, it's hot, still windy, uh, and where that fire started and just continuous timber and race downhill, it's been uh, – it's been a rough afternoon. Todd, is there any idea at all? Is this a lightning strike holdover, or do we have any idea how it started? We don't have any cause at this time, but uh, there was no lightning in the area. Um, there hasn't been a storm around there, so um, we don't know exactly what started this fire, uh, but that investigation is ongoing. Uh, you know, just the speed that that thing took off, um, uh, you know, the, the investigators are on the ground looking at that right now, and hopefully we'll have more information to report soon. All right. Uh, and anything else? Uh, now, we, we've also heard that uh, there have been evacuation centers set up. We've already got that information out. Uh, Highway 93, there are detours at Scalcaho, I, I, I guess, um, coming in from the south on Old Darby Road. And you're just basically asking people to stay away, right? Yeah, we really are. There's a lot of traffic, obviously, on 93, and there's a helicopter flying over right now that you can probably hear, but lots of people pulling over on 93 to get pictures, and, um, you know, it's just really tough. We're trying to get uh, engines and water tenders in here to try to fight this fire. So, yeah, if you don't have to be down in this area south of Hamilton, uh, it would help our crews. There's a lot of traffic and congestion right now. Um, so, yeah, that would be that would be helpful. And as you mentioned, there's about 500 homes that are involved in this evacuation. So it's a big area. Again, it's on both uh, north and south sides of Roaring Lion. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of people who are obviously concerned and affected by this, and we're, we're just trying to, to manage this area and keep it as safe for everybody involved.